Hello everyone, it's Dominique, and in this video I'm going to show you um, how to use a Nook. Now, a Nook is a tool like such. It looks like a crochet hook. However, at the very end, there is a hole. So what a Nook does is, similar to crochet, you are looping your yarn in a way that creates a knitted fabric. The difference between this and crochet is that this creates this nook creates um, actual fabric that is made of knitted stitches. There's knitted stitches and there's purled stitches. Just like knitting with two needles or more, you can knit in the round, or sorry, you can nook in the round. You can nook a dish towel, um, a scarf, baby blanket, whatever you want, pretty much. There's not very many restrictions you can do with the nook. So this is very handy for those that are more into crocheting and do not like to knit or they don't have as much experience with knitting. This is also fantastic for um, bringing onto the plane as long as it's a wooden or bamboo. Check the rules first, of course. And in general, um, it's less likely that you're going to lose any stitches. So with your nook, um, I got mine on the Book Depository website. I'll post the link below. And it came with three nooks of different sizes. In this example, um, I have a 5mm or size H-8 sized hook or nook. And it also comes with these cords. Now, what I recommend with these cords is if you have an interchangeable um, nooking set, you don't want to use a cord that is plastic because it will be very difficult to pull through the stitches when you get there, which you have to do for every row. So, to make it easier on yourself, use the cord that comes with your nooking kit if you have one or a shoelace, and of course, something that is appropriately sized for the yarn you're using. So what you want to do is take the cord for your nook and insert it into the hole. And I like to leave about five to six inches or so of a tail and then the rest, the working part of your cord will be the length that will carry your stitches as you do your work. I'm using just a basic cotton yarn that I have at a local store. It's Drops Paris. So to start nooking, you want to make a slip knot. Just like crocheting and put that onto your nook and tighten it. So if you know how to crochet, this will be easy for you. What you want to do is chain however many stitches you require. Let's do five for an example. So you put yarn over your hook pull through, or over your nook, sorry, and repeat that five times, or four times to make five stitches. So you just yarn over your nook and pull through. Okay, and you know you have five stitches or five chains because you have to count one, two, three, four and five, so it looks like five letter V's. Now to get stitches, or to pick up stitches and place them on your nook, what you'll want to do is insert your nook into the second V, or the second chain, from your nook. You don't want to insert it into the first, because you'll end up undoing that stitch and losing one, and it won't work. So, insert your nook into the second V, and don't wrap the yarn around and pull through, just directly turn your hook away, nook away from you and pull through. 
So you picked up one and repeat that, insert the nook into the next stitch, nook facing away from you, the hook part facing away from you, and grab your yarn and pull through and keep the loop or the stitch onto your nook. So you can fit many stitches onto your nook. So here's my five, one, two, three, four, and five. For example, I have something already started on another nook, and it's just a face cloth. And this has 34 stitches, but I have had in a previous project um, 41. So you can make them uh, as many stitches as you want. It will just be a little more difficult, I found, um, the more stitches you have on your nook. You have to kind of squish them together and try not to skip any as you do your work. So that is your basic introduction on how to thread your nook and start your foundation chain. Thanks so much for watching.